Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. Uh, in this video, we will continue talking about the child process module in Node.js. In the previous video, we talked about the fork function, uh, where we were able to start a child process uh, using uh, just a JavaScript file, uh, which is just a Node.js program, a program that you can start with the node uh, command on the command line. Okay, so this is the child process that we created uh, right here. Okay, you can see that this child process is sending uh, messages to the parent process, and the parent process is listening for those messages and doing something with it. In this case, printing that message to the console. All right, so what we were able to show in that last video is that the child process can send messages to the parent process as long as it is created with the fork function. And the reason for that is the fork function, when it creates a process, it also gives these processes a channel of communication, which is called an IPC channel, entry process channel. Um, and what this allows uh, these processes to do is communicate. And what we've shown in a previous video is that the child process can send messages to the parent in that way by using process that's sent. Now, uh, today I want to show that the parent can do such a thing as well, sending message to the child. And that's by using the child.send function, which is the same function, but uh, uh, essentially going backwards. All right, so let's go, let's think of a way here to send messages to that child. Uh, so let's say every second or every at some er interval we want to send a message to that child. All right, so let's do an interval here. Let's set an interval. Okay, set interval. Oops. Let's create a function that's going to fire every uh, second, let's say. Okay, every second, what would we like to do? We would like to send some message to the child. So child, that's send. Okay, let's send some uh, object, okay? Because it doesn't have to be a string. You know, it doesn't have to be some simple string, simple number. It could be an object, could be as complicated as the, the you know, the uh, as a server, uh, uh, a socket. Uh, or it could be as simple as just a number. So let's just uh, go somewhere in the middle and create a small object here we can send to that child. So let's create uh, some sort of a user object. So we got a name. Let's give that name uh, an age. Uh, let's say 30. Let's give it a city. Okay, that's as much as we're going to go. Okay, so uh, what this is going to do is every second, it's going to send a message uh, to the child. Now, for the child to receive that message, just like the parent did in the previous video, it listened to the message event. That's what the child is going to do. All right, so process that on message. Okay, when you get that message, let's create our function here. Oops. Okay, now that message is going to receive some data. Let's just call it user data. Okay, now what is going to happen here? Let's just print this to the console in a pretty way. Console there, we want to print the user data and we want to give it some colors. Okay, true. Okay, all right, so the, the expectation here is that this parent process is going to create a child, okay, and from that child. Uh, we, you know, if that child exists, we print something, and every second we are going to send this piece of data to that child process. 
Okay, and that child process is simply going to receive it every second and print that statement right here. All right, so, so not to get confused, let's go ahead and stop sending messages to that child process. Let's just remove these things that we don't need anymore. Okay, we don't need to pass these arguments no more. Now let's go to that child process and just get rid of all this. Okay, this was some previous video stuff. Uh, I'm removing them just to be uh, clear what is happening. All right, so let's go back to the parent. The parent is simply creating a child process. Okay, and you know, listening for the exit event on that child process. If it exits, uh, we're going to print uh, child terminated. And every second, we are going to send messages to that child. And that child is, of course, listening for those messages. And it, whenever they are received, they are printed to the console. All right, so let's run this and see what happens. Boom, boom. So every second, we get a ping telling us, hey, here's some data, here's some data, here's some data. All right, so that's going to continue forever. But let's say we don't want that, OK? Now, all we have to do is to clear this interval. So let's go ahead and give it a name. Let interval equal. Okay. So now what we can do is clear that interval after a certain amount of time. So let's say after five seconds, for example. So let's just set time out here set timeout for five seconds so at the five second mark I want to clear the interval and that interval name is just interval all right so let's see what happens oops okay let's run that boom two three four what happened? Okay, it stopped sending messages, but uh, it hangs. So you can see as I press enter here, the program did not terminate. What is the issue? Well, it turns out this is expected behavior in Node.js. Okay, let me make sure I end this. Okay, all right, so the issue here is that the child process is still listening for a message event okay and the parent itself has no idea you know if uh, uh, that child has terminated or not because that child is supposed to be listening for events now what you want to do is to make sure that child terminates by killing it as bad as that sound uh, uh, what you want to do is kill that child all right so inside here after those five seconds let's go ahead and do that so that's your child that kill here. Okay, now that we guarantee that the child process exists. And two, three, four, five. Okay, now your program terminates uh, normally. It's whenever you have the child process listening to something, uh, messages from the parent, uh, you want uh, to make sure the parent sends a kill signal whenever it's appropriate for that child to die. All right, so this is the video, guys. Uh, so this, this video was to show uh, how you can have the parent uh, send messages to the child as the child could send messages to the parent as we've seen in the previous video. And uh, um, I also wanted to show that you can send uh, objects uh, and not just strings as messages or just uh, small numbers. You can send objects as complicated as, uh, as uh, let's say, uh, a server object, uh, for example. And you can send, you know, objects that are very simple as well. All right, so this is the video, guys. Uh, um, I have plenty more videos coming. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to have, uh, if you want to see more of these uh, uh, 
go ahead and hit the like button if you like the videos and if you've got questions go ahead and ask me in the comment section and uh, I guess I'll see you next time